everybody, welcome back to Wigs with Steph. I'm Steph. Today we're gonna to be talking about this gorgeous wig, Simmer. Now there's two Simmers out there if you're looking online. There's Simmer, just named Simmer, which is the regular Simmer, the wefted style, or there's Simmer Elite. So when I take this cap off and show you the inside of the cap design, I will be also comparing it to Simmer Elite in case you're kind of going between the two. If you are searching online, you'll likely notice a difference in price. And typically when you have a choice between the two, either hand tied or wefted, there will be a price difference, meaning that the wefted will usually be a little bit cheaper than the hand tied. So we'll go into that more when I take the wig off and actually show you the inside cap design. But for right now, I have it on my head already and I wanted to show you just how beautiful it is and also let you know that I purchased this wig with my own funds over two years ago. So I have worn this wig simmer for two years straight every day. I've worn it to work. I've worn it to the gym. Um, I've worn it in the, in the middle of summer when it's so humid outside and I'm sweating. I really did a number on this wig and occasionally like I will wear hats on it. I'll put it in little side piggy tails. It actually looks really cute uh, towards the end of this video. Stay tuned because I will be showing you a couple different ways that I wear this style. And what I wanna tell you guys is this color is my absolute favorite. This is the Shaded Biscuit color. It's quite popular. It's one of their most popular blondes, which is RL1923SS. And now what the SS means is that it's shaded. So you're gonna have a darker root. On myself, I just prefer my wigs to have a darker root just because I think it looks a lot more natural, especially because my natural hair color at this time is a little bit darker and I'll show you. I'll show you exactly what I mean. This right here is my hair. So on pretty much all of my wig styles, I typically pull out my hair from under the cap to make it look like little baby hairs. I'll either do that or I'll actually sometimes cut little baby hairs into my wigs after I've had my wigs for probably over a year. Because you know when you first get a wig, it's just so perfect, you don't wanna touch it. Like I don't touch those wigs. But what I do with a wig that I've had for, you know, years and years, sometimes I will cut little baby hairs. And sometimes, usually actually, I will just go ahead and pull my little hairs out. Um, just moving up the side here. Because what this does is make it look really, really natural when you're just out and about. Now, if my wig style did not have a root, I would not be pulling my hair out, right? Because you, you want it to match. It's just that this matches almost perfectly uh, with my hair and the shaded biscuit blonde color. Whew, it's a little hot in here. We actually finally have some sun outside, guys, and it's so beautiful, but I am, oh, it's kind of hot in my house. So going back to the fact that I have owned this wig for over two years, some of you might be thinking, you know, that's crazy because maybe you've only heard that synthetic wigs last three months. Um, I can't speak to synthetics that you buy off Amazon, but I am speaking to the brand names. And in this case, this is by Raquel Welch. She creates amazing quality wigs. And I personally, when I'm buying a wig, I look for heat friendly styles specifically. Some people really despise the heat friendly styles. And a comment that I've always heard people say is the heat friendly styles tend to die a lot faster than the regular synthetics that you can't put heat on, but you could use steam on. Now for me, I have a total opposite belief when it comes to this because for myself i do prefer the heat friendly styles and i actually find that the regular synthetic styles do not last as long in fact i do have a couple of them but i don't wear them anymore because within and i would say i would give those regular synthetics about a three month span where they're perky <laughs> where they look um good and natural and they're moving naturally but but then after those three months i just find that they're so 
I don't know why I'm touching this one telling you this story because this is heat friendly. Um, I should pull out one of my other ones. They just kind of like the fibers clump together. And then I find even if I use steam, I can get the frizzies out and things like that and the tangling out, but it doesn't revive the fiber back where it moves naturally like a brand new synthetic wig. So I hope that this is making sense. It's a little difficult to explain, but the fact that this wig is heat friendly means that one, not only can I change the style to whatever I want it to be whenever I want it to be that, but two, I can revive it. So right now, how I have my wig right this second, this is the worst that it will ever look. And I'm saying this because I have not washed this wig, this is kind of gross, but like in a couple months, to be honest, I just haven't done it because I kind of have a way of doing it. So when I go to refresh a heat synthetic wig, I'll give it a wash, I'll throw some laundry detergent on, and I do it a little differently than people. I use laundry detergent, then I use some fabric softener, I let it sit in the fabric softener, then I take it out, hang it upside down, hang it on the back of my door over there, let it hang dry, and then when it's dry, I'll actually stick it on my mannequin head, and I will section off pieces and take my fine tooth comb with my hair straightener and I will go section by little section and straighten it out slowly. What this does, it gets rid of all the tangles. As you can see, I'm a little, can you see this? I'm a little tangly under here. If I try to, it catches a little bit near the end. Okay, so it's a little bit tangly, but this is because it's an over two year old wig who really needs a washing and a refresh with heat. Now, the reason why I truly believe people don't have a lot of success with their heat friendly styles is because they're so afraid to put heat on them. And I, I guys, I've heard this so many times from people uh, when I watch videos online, they do specifically say in their videos, they do not like heat friendly fibers because it dies quicker than the regular synthetic. I don't agree. To each their own, of course, because if you know, you're somebody out there and you're watching my video and you're like, no, I do not agree, then I completely, I get it. But I think a lot of this is coming from people who might be afraid to put heat onto their wig. Put heat onto your wig. If it is heat friendly, that is the only way to bring it back to looking brand spanking new. And I can tell you that when I do it the way that I just told you how I do it. Um, my wig comes back to looking brand spanking new. I wanted to show you my simmer wig in its worst condition, where it's catching, where it's kind of messy. Because even in its worst state, guys, I get compliments on this wig every single day. Partly it's because of the style which I've had to redo a couple times because I'm putting heat on it. So this is technically, you know, my own styling at this point. But a lot of people compliment on the style, like the length, the cut, the amount of hair, and of course, this beautiful Raquel Welch shaded biscuit color. So I'm going to come in close so you can really see what this looks like. I love all the dimension in this blonde color. It's really, really stunning. Give it a little brush here for you. And then I'll do a little turn as well so you can really have a look at it. But this is one of those styles that when you go outside wearing it, if any of you are watching this and you have Shaded Biscuit, if you just find that everybody compliments you on it, because I do, like everyone is obsessed with this hair color. Um, I get compliments from people all the time who have no idea it's a wig. It's just a random person coming up to me off the street. And it's funny because I will get stopped. Like I've been sitting at restaurants eating with my fiance or friends or family and someone will excuse themselves from the table that they're at, come over to me, you know, sit down, say hello, I'm like, hello. And then they say, who did your hair? Please tell me because I've been trying to get that color blonde for so long. And I tell them, you know, thank you so much. It's a wig. It's a wig. 
um, that's why that's why it's so perfect. It's a wig. If you've seen any of my other videos, you'll have seen me say this numerous times, but wigs will change your life. If you're new to wigs, just give them a go because they really give you so much confidence. You feel beautiful in them. Because let me tell you, to get this color, this shade of blonde, well, these different shades of blonde, like there's so many, there's so many different shades in here, it's so dimensional, but to get this in a hair salon, guys, it costs so much money. And I tell you this from experience because before I was wearing wigs, before I found wigs, I was wearing extensions and I was dyeing my hair trying to get it to this color for so long. And if I did get my hair to this color, it would turn that brassy yellow and then I'd have to use the purple shampoo all the time. Then my hair would turn violet. It just, it was so hard for upkeep. If I was dyeing my own natural hair still, I would have to go in every two weeks to get it touched up. And that is a ton of money. Not to mention if I was wearing extensions at the time, I'd be paying for those to be moved up if they're tapins or clippings. It's just why bother with all of that when you can wear wigs? All right, so I'm gonna step back from the camera and really show you what this looks like from further away. This is the front, obviously. And the side. All right, so guys, the fact that I still wear this wig, even after two years of owning it, the fact that it's synthetic, it's not real human hair. People say, people say it should only last three months. It has lasted me, obviously, way longer. And every time I put heat back into this wig, it becomes like brand new. If you wanna know how I get my heat-friendly wigs to look like brand spanking new, even after having it for two years, then stay tuned because that will actually be the next video I'm gonna film right after this one because I do need to give this one a wash and I do need to put some heat into it to get rid of the tangles and to just refresh it so it's moving a little more naturally and isn't as stiff. So please subscribe if you would like to see that. So on Simmer, what you have here, the front is 11 and a half inches. The crown is 11 and a half inches. The sides are nine. The back is 10 and a half. And then the nape is six. Now the fit of this cap is said to be an average. Now it is big on me because my head is quite petite. My circumference is really small. It's under 21. Um, whereas this one, I really don't have a way to measure for a large circumference. I'm sorry, but I don't just because my head is so small and my mannequin head is around 21. But I do know that simmer fits me big and I do have to bring in the sides. So I'm going to take this cap off and show you the inside of the cap and sort of show you a couple of customizations that I made myself to make this wig fit me a little bit better. All right, so here we go. Right at the front here, you'll notice Raquel Welch's amazing lace fronts. And part of this is because of her bleach knot. So you'll see right up at the front here, all of these blonde little pieces, this blonde stretch going from right to left. Now, back when I was new to wigs, I would purchase wigs that didn't have bleach knots right up at the front. And I just found that it looked not natural and especially because my skin is so light any dark little knot is very easily seen on my head and i'm just not a fan of that so now that i've been wearing wigs for a while i know what to look for and i always look for the bleach knots because by having it bleached having it this lighter color here the fiber is going to look like it's growing out of your scalp now raquel welch does a fantastic job i love her lace frontals they look so natural and as you can see the lace does extend into the ear tabs here so that allows you to part the hair off of your face and it really does look good if i can just point out again that i have had this wig for over two years and i know i keep saying that but look how good this lace front looks 
There's no snagging, there's no ripping, and I have not been easy on this wig. It's not like I'm super delicate with it. Like I I do yank on it. Like I, I've just had it for so long, guys. The fact that it looks this good, it looks like brand new. This, this is a quality wig, it really is. And if you take good care of it and you put heat back into your heat friendly style, you can keep this thing for a long, long time and save yourself a ton of money. Let's have a look at this monofilament top here. You can find the monofilament just behind this line. It's this whole stretch. And what this does is it allows you to part your hair in any direction. So if you're a middle parter, you can do that. It'll look totally natural. Same with the right side, same with the left side. What's cool is each of these knots are individually hand tied so they move really naturally and it looks really really good it looks like scalp whichever way you part it so highly highly recommend when you look for a wig definitely try to find one with some sort of monofilament because if somebody's taller than you looking down or they're in front of you and you're you have like a deep part um, they will see head instead of just fiber and in the wig world that just makes your wig look more natural. Now if I turn the cap around, you'll notice a wefted back. What this means is it's been done by a machine, all this hair is together. Now, okay, so here's the difference between wefted and hand tied. Hand tied means that it's individually hand tied. Um, it's gonna move really, really naturally like normal human hair would. Whereas the wefted doesn't move quite as naturally, but it still looks really good. Now the benefit to a wefted there's a couple benefits, but first one, it's cheaper than a hand tied. If you're wanting to save your wallet, wefted is cheaper. Not only that, but because it's wefted, as you can see, my fingers fit through here. You see that? So what that means is if you're wearing a wig in the middle of summer and you're in a humid climate and it's really, really hot, you might want to choose a wefted style because air will be able to flow through here a lot more easily than it would coming through a hand tie cap. So that's just, you know, another difference between the two. The wefted styles do make my head just a little bit itchy, whereas the hand tied caps are glorious. <laughs> they don't make my head itchy at all and they just move so naturally. I just, I really like the feel of a hand tied when I stick my hand up in the hair and just kind of move it around. It feels like my own hair and I really like that versus wefted. You do feel the wefts when you do that. Now what I did for customization because I've had this wig for so long guys and it is too big for me. What I did after like a year and a half, I thought like it's probably time to buy myself another wig. Since I know another wig will be coming, I can take the chance of cutting some of this and sewing it together to try to make it a smaller cap. And if I mess up and ruin the wig, then I know that I have another one coming. So luckily I did not mess up this wig. I did sew it tighter together. So now this wig fits my head just a little bit better, a little bit more snug. Now we do have the velvet ear tabs. They still look really good even after two years and they just sit flush against your head. Um, it makes it just, it just looks really natural when you have this on your head. Now, the very back, you have your Velcro tabs. Now, these are adjustable tabs. It allows you to loosen or tighten the cap up to a half inch, just so you know that if your head is smaller, like mine is, you can still wear simmer. You'll just have to tighten this. All right, so now I do want to show you that lace front, what I was talking about. Look how good it looks. I swear to you, nobody can tell that you're wearing a wig especially if you have some of your own bio hair um, and you wanna take some little hairs out. That is what I do. I'll show you on this side, it might be easier to show you. So again, I just go along and I take my little hairs out. That's probably good. And then I fluff it back. So as you can see, when I wear this wig, I can just pull it back from my face and nobody knows a thing at all. Um, and I can do that on both sides and it just looks completely natural. I wanted to show you a couple of different styles, accessories that I use with this wig all the time. So sunglasses, it slides on really easily. I just put it between 
uh, the ear tab and, you know, the hair and it just slides on and it stays and it's amazing. So as you can see with sunglasses, it looks really natural. They fit just like it would on your head. It's not like they're any bulkier. Uh, you can take them off. Sometimes I do this when it's really hot out. Um, I'll go outside like this or I'll put it back completely. I usually like to have like a little bit of hair out. Um, it just makes me feel like I got a cute style going on if I pull some hair out just a little bit um, like this. So that's normally how I would wear it just out and about when I walk my dog. And then let's see, here's a hat that I wear all the time. I sell real estate. That's what it says on the side. I'm a real estate agent. Uh, my fiance and I were, were a team, both realtors. Anyways, um, this is a hat that I wear with this wig all the time um, in the middle of summer when it's hot or springtime, you know, just to keep the sun out of my eyes. Is this crooked? I don't have a mirror. Um, I think that's straight. Yeah, so I just wear this and then I can put my sunglasses on top. Um, yeah, I'm totally wearing this crooked because I don't have a mirror, I'm sorry. Um, but I'll wear this down to the water when I walk my dog down there. And then I can just slide these on. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. See? Okay, and then another style that I do all the time, I just think is so cute, is I'll take two matching little hair bands and I'll part this at the back and I'll do little, oh, caught my earring. There we go. I'll just do little pigtails. I think this is cute. This might not be for everybody, but I think it's stinking cute. Um, and then sometimes I'll put a hat on. For summer in my opinion um, and then you can just go out and do your activities have your sunglasses have your bag have your water bottle and just go do your sun activities so needless to say guys this is one of my favorite wigs simmer is a style that I think I'll always have on hand in fact I just ordered simmer elite and that's the hand tied version so I'm really excited to receive that one as well because I've loved, you know, regular simmer for so long that I just know I'm gonna adore the hand tied cap. Lots of different things you can do. Wigs are amazing. They allow you to do so many different things and I wish you guys all the best. I hope you're enjoying your wigs. And if you'd like to see more of this content, please subscribe. I'd love to have you back here with me. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time.